Hello friends and welcome to another Raid Den event update video. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you're all well, having a great Easter weekend. It has started in talking about Easter. This is what the new event is all centered around. It is based upon Easter eggs and baby Pokemon. So that's what we're going to have access to going into the weekend. We'll get into the details of how long the event is going to run for and all the specific Pokemon that you'll be able to actually obtain now over the next few days. Uh, in a minute but um, I just want to give a quick shout out to all of you hope you're all keeping well staying safe and everyone is doing fine and I hope you enjoy your Easter weekend as always if you do enjoy this sort of content these update videos and things like that please remember to sub to the channel so you don't miss any of the the news when it does drop and also drop a like to let me know that you enjoy this sort of content and you find it useful so um getting over first things first into our, our, um, our most useful source, Cerebi.com, um, where we can have a look at what we've actually got access to in these dens. So you can see now the event is running from today, the 10th, um, until the 15th. So that will be, um, ooh, that'll be Wednesday this coming week. So we've got a few days to take advantage of this, um, these event dens and uh, the, the Pokemon that are going to be uh, spawning in them, which is really good. Uh, so just take advantage of them. Uh, while you can and uh, if nothing else it's a little bit of fun and something to fill the time in uh, while we're all in quarantine um but okay so obviously we've mentioned it is going to run from the 10th to the 15th it is an easter event which is really nice uh the one star raids haven't changed at all we've still got access to all of the the regular gigantamax pokemon that we had before the cutie fan the trebuchet charmander charmeleon the duraladon the, the garbador uh copper Rajar, and why did i say it like that i mean copper Raja, and uh i think that's i think that's it oh and g max charizard of course how could i forget um but going into the one star raids for pokemon sword you've got q fant trubbish charmander duraladon and then i'm going to change they're all going to stay the same uh the two star raids are going to change a little bit so if you're you're still at the early stages of your playthrough then you can access these dens obviously the one star and two star uh the two star changes to q fan trubbish Duraladon, Charmeleon, Toxel is now available as well as Mantike as well. So really nice to have access to these Pokemon. And uh, some things to notice as well with these baby Pokemon is you can now get special items, the Everstone and the Destino, as well as the, the Power Bands, which are all items that you will utilize and make use of when you're, you're training your Pokemon up. So the Destiny Knot, the Everstone are ideal for if you're breeding down um, specific Specific natures that you want to keep you put the the everstone on that pokemon it'll transfer the nature down and the destiny knot as well helps just pull down those ivs that you want to keep and transfer to your baby uh, if you've got any questions and you want to check out a breeding guide for sword and shield i'll link one up here i did one a while ago um it seems to have went down pretty well so hopefully you find some use on that and it does explain the everstone destiny knot and everything else in there um, and like i mentioned you get the uh the the power op the power bands power bracer all of these they're accessible here and the power lens are all items that you can get and also a lucky egg as well so the lucky egg is a great item to have which does increase the experience points of a pokemon when it is being held by it so by 50 percent as well so if you're doing the old-fashioned way leveling up uh through experience points or you're doing it in the um the the, the what is it what is it called uh come on we put it in the box and you go away and you do jobs pokemon jobs poke jobs there we go if you're doing that then it'll double the, the experience that you're getting so doubling that up with something like pokerus as well will really help out especially if you're ev training um in that regard anyway getting on to the three star raids they're the ones that are going to be more important to you guys that have finished the game i'm presuming most of you have already um so you can get budu Tyrog, Bonsly, uh, or Bonsly, uh, Riolo, uh, Munchlax, and Mr. Mime Jr., or just Mime Jr., um, and also you're going to get uh, more special items here. The, uh, the boiled egg is an item that you're going to get with all of these, which helps you when you're making curries. Um, you're also going to get access to the Everstone, the Destiny Knot as well, and then those power power bands and power braces and the Lucky Egg also has a 20% chance. So pretty nice items to get a hold of. I know you can get them in the game already but it's nice to have additional ones if you need them and um, moving down to the four star raids you're going to get togepi why not cleffer g max charizard still kicking around pichu 
Really nice one to get. And Duraladon, again, same with the items there for all of these. And then we'll move down to the five star. And here's the juice. Here is the juice of these event dens because going on the breeding theme, we're also getting access to Dittos. Now, Ditto is really only exclusively available in one den in the wild area, but now it is an event Pokemon. So. It's going to make it a lot easier to get really good ones, uh, get those five-star dittos, uh, get those perfect dittos. It's going to be a chance for you guys over the next five days to really grind out so you've got those Pokemon there ready to make your breeding so much easier. So this is the big thing here, getting the dittos. You can even maybe get a shiny ditto if you're very lucky or you can grind for a shiny either way. Um, but yeah, I think that's the big one. So that's everything from sword. Going down onto shield, you're going to have the same for the, the one-star, the, the two-star and the three star all the same uh coming down onto the four star you get the same once again and then the five star the only difference is uh you'll have access to garbador and charizard whereas sword will have access to copperaja and duraladon so uh, the, the only difference is everyone has got access doesn't matter what copy you've got to these event uh these new event pokemon that have just been released uh, with the ditto and uh, everything else so hopping back into the game just to make sure you guys are aware how to do this in case you're not you're brand new you've just started the game or whatever uh, what you want to do is come to your menu you want to go into mystery gift screen you want to go to get wild area news you can click on that take a little while it'll just connect to the internet and by doing this it's going to update all of the dens in the wild area with this new specific event that is running taking ages taking ages Come on, come on, come on, do it, do it. There we go. All right, it's a bit slow. Must be a bad time. Okay, so once you've done that, this message will pop up. You've connected to the internet and received the latest wild up, uh, updates on the wild area. Time to go have a look for those Pokemon. So I've actually already got a den active. Now, for those of you that have watched the previous update videos that I've done, this is like a little spot that I love to use in Drappled, Gro in Drappled Grove. So uh, what I'll do is just run between the two until I can actually spawn uh, one of the event dens. Um, and they always appear in a red den. Um, and as you see, I've got a G-Max Charizard here. So what we're going to do, I've just updated. So this now, if I do the, the date the date skip glitch, which I'm sure all of you know by now. But I'm just doing this for the purpose. You don't need to be online to do this, uh, even though we are. Um, and we'll just come out. And uh, by doing this, we're just changing the frame, but we're keeping the event den. So we should be able to change it to a different Pokemon and get some of those new ones there. But we're getting two Charizard in a row. They're all good, aren't they? I think Pichu's probably the one that'll go for. And there we go. We got Mr. Mime Jr. here. So um, what we can do is, uh, just for the example of this video, uh, what are we going to pick? What's good? I mean, anything's going to be good. We'll go We'll go with that Excadrill. Level 100. Why not? That should make quick work of it. And uh, just for the example of this video, we can have a look what items we actually pick up getting this one. But um, Mime Jr. I want to keep calling him Mr. Mime Jr. He's just Mime. He's not a Mr. yet. Um, but yeah, if you want to hunt for shinies for these event uh, Pokemon while they're gone live, then it's a nice, easy way to get them uh, without having to go through the process of maybe doing the Masuda method and breeding for shinies that way. Um, but... I think the big thing is just farming the items and farming the ditto from these events. Remember, it is only running from the 10th to the 15th of April, so um, we don't have that long to uh, to actually make the most of these dens. I was expecting maybe I was expecting something this weekend, but I was expecting something more along the lines of like the Delhi Bird uh, event that we got not so long ago, where we got to farm uh, for all the um, the, ex the like the, the level up candies. Which was amazing. That was like I think one of the best events we've had. I think um, we've had some really good events. Uh, but for having useful things for training up your Pokemon, especially for competitive or just playing online, uh, these events are really useful because they give you access to tools that that just make the job a little bit easier. Um, and we can see that this is a technician, Mime Junior. See if we can take this down in one turn. That would be epic. Well, we're not going to do that now. Clefairy is letting the team down. I like always, like always Clefairy. Okay, so we'll go for this second max steel spike. This should be enough. It is. It takes it down. So we should be able to catch this Mime Junior. And then, like I say, what we're going to do is just take a quick look at the items that we've got for this one. We'll, uh, we'll go for a rift, people. Just to make sure we catch it. 
presuming the catch rates are pretty much similar to the just a normal event um, max rate events that we we have running so wouldn't worry too much but uh, do try and use better balls repeat balls dusk balls if you've uh, if you've obviously got access to them just gives you a better chance of, of catching these Pokemon and uh, definitely check out the um, the online raids as well that people are hosting uh, jump in on those take advantage of those while you're getting them so there we go we got mime jr uh, medium candies large candies dynamax candies like like usual we got the boiled egg which is good the everstone the destiny knot and we got a power weight so that's really nice there's a nice selection of uh, items to get there and uh, because they're babies they're going to be a lot easier to actually take down and then catch and then and just cycle through for these items which is awesome so that about wraps up the episode my friends I, i've covered everything i think that i need to i hope you found it useful i just wish you all a great easter have an amazing weekend and uh, i'll see you all next week for some more pokey content so until then take care of yourselves friends and bye bye